Hi, Ben here from Second Dynasty, and these are the instructions for the Traveller 20 ton launch. So I have my ship here in Maya. This is the full concept in the program I use to model the craft. Uh, and we will be using uh, the proprietary software 3DO um, to go through the steps of assembly. So if you don't have 3DO, you can follow this video. Uh, we will also have a PDF instruction manual. Uh, you go to asset if you have it and then bundle browser. Find the Traveler small craft from the bundle browser. And if you haven't clicked download on the Traveler small craft uh, section and then you will have the launch. Hopefully it will be better named in the final version. Uh, so this will load in the launch. The keys here uh, for navigation are quite similar to a computer game. You use the right key to navigate uh, and you use the uh, WASD keys uh, to move about the scene. Uh, you can also use Q to go up, E to go down. Uh, these are the basics. So if you wanted to get into a perspective view of the interior, you can certainly uh, do something like that. Uh, this is a slightly lower res version of the ship. Um, as you can kind of see in Maya, it's a little bit more detailed. We can even take off the uh, top of this, like so. Hide this. And uh, you can basically see the layout here. So we have a cockpit. We have an airlock, a fresher, and HVAC system. Interesting combination. Cargo bay. And of course, the engine compartment or drive compartment, as it is commonly called in Traveller. So uh, there is a slight animation here. If I uh, bring in my timeline, uh, I got the, uh, the airlock slides up like so. The ramp comes out, the doors open. Uh, so there are a couple of different functionalities that the ship actually has and that you can uh, employ when you have the final physical uh, print. So these are all mechanically, um, they, they all work once you've printed this, provided that you have printed with um, the correct print settings. All of our prints are designed for 0.15 millimeter layer heights on an FDM 3D printer. Uh, if you want to do resin, you will probably have to create some custom settings. Uh, you can also print this at 0.16 without losing too much fidelity. Uh, and if you're worried about that, print at 0.12 if you do have a 0.4 step printer. All right, so uh, here we also have something called instructions. So we can go show hide, and this will take us into the initial steps. Unlike our previous ships, this uses two different clips to connect together. The first is a standard open lock clip, uh, which you will find in the uh, folder of STL files. And then we also have a new clip, which has three prongs on each side and is a fraction of the size this was necessary to help with the circular form. Uh, the other benefit of 3DO is you can hover over parts and you get the parts names if you're looking for that. But of course, we also have provided some very uh, easy 3MF files that you can just import straight into your slicer and get printing straight away, especially if you're on Prusa Slicer. So let's go into step one uh, and we start at the after the ship. So we just, um, a few things to keep in mind, the landing gear housing here, although it's shown here to snap in, you can see here that if we grab this part and move it out, you can see there is just a slight intersection here between this part here and that part there. Now, in reality, there's probably enough tolerance that you can slide it in that direction, uh, but what you could actually do is put the clip in here and slide it in from the side and then let it slide into place as usual. All right, let's go to the next step. If you do want to put a light kit in here, there is a space for a, a coin cell battery, a three volt coin cell battery. Uh, so you would put the back end in here and then the sort of thinner area, there's a little slot here. 
so you want to put that battery in feeding through your cables and uh, five millimeter LED light here uh, let's see there is no light kit for that but um, yeah that's that's what I've used so we snap those together in the next section we're going to put in our power plant so we slide it in from this direction uh, making sure that we're careful that these pipes aren't going to uh, knock into pump systems here uh, you will notice on the back if you are installing a light kit that uh, there's a little section that you can sort of feed cables through um, the intention is that the five millimeter bulb will sit with the prongs sort of facing this direction the globe sticking out uh, through the engine cone uh, but before we get to that you just slide in the uh, door into the bulkhead and then just friction fit this then we get to the rear section and again this is quite straightforward if you're not installing a light kit you don't need to clip every single hole either I just do every other one and then one each for the engine cone and the power plant but of course if you have the light bulb you need to align it so it will fit through this uh, sort of area here can be used to house the switch so these go together quite nicely and we uh, also finally slot in the covers for the landing gear hopefully these won't be too loose if they are a bit loose you might want to check your print tolerances uh, step six we just put the top on uh, it just fits in using gravity it's a fairly snug fit though so the idea is you should be able to tilt the craft about 45 degrees without too many issues all right uh, the next section is the mid section very simple insert the doors and connect together now the bridge uh, again there's a couple of things to keep an eye on uh, after you slot the doors in the fresher lid goes on should just snap into place that slides down into uh, the, this channel right here I would paint all of this first too by the way which is the reason these are separate objects so you slide in the tanks and then this just fits and then you would uh, slide this all together the next step is to do the forward landing gear same concerns as with the rear landing gear uh, we have the cockpit so you use clips to connect the bridge section filament to connect the chairs although I actually don't I just use blue tack uh, otherwise it's all straightforward using the clips again um, you can probably get away with just using every other clip hole uh, try to keep it you know spaced out so it's evenly distributed if you do want there are some channels through here down the bottom that you could use metal rods if you want additional support uh, but for the launch itself it fits together rather nicely without any additional help connect it and then we are going to just put those covers on put in the ramp attach the airlock door it just sort of slides in on in a circular angle uh, we assemble the top part uh, again just using clips you can see the clip holes here uh, pretty straightforward once you line it up right it just fits in place it might be a bit of a tight fit there uh, and then we have the same sort of situation uh, for the roof here and again if you really want the metal support rods you could use those uh, but clips tend to be perfectly fine snap it into place and hey we have an assembled launch so hopefully this guide has been helpful feel free to reach out if uh, you are having issues assembling or if there's a particular part of the ship you're really having trouble uh, printing we do have a discord with a great support group that's it for me tonight thank you for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe